Hey Internet, I'm Dan. And I'm Chaz. And this is Wine is Serious Business, episode 296. 96. <laughs> so we're here today with uh, our friend Matt again. We're we're having a little taste of history. Homie Matt. Yeah, we, we I scored a, I scored this nice vertical recently of McKinley wines. We recently had them on the show Love the 14. Yeah. We're one of the top QPRs we've experienced out of 2014. I was excited to see these and to have a chance to get a vertical like this uh, too. I, I also found a little bit of reading. There's not a lot of information out there. As far as I know, they don't even have a website. Um, but the little bit that I found said that he only makes a special selection of good vintages. A lot of times he only makes the Willamette Valley and that's it. Okay. So a little bit of a quality cut here. And we've got 94 through 97. 93 was the first one that was ever made. So we're almost back to the beginning. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Super sweet. Corks are looking pretty good. But since these are older wines, we decided to take cuts and open them right before we drink them. So the later open ones don't die off before we get to them. So, uh, yeah, we'll, oh, let's open the first one. We're going to start with the 1994 special cool. selection. We'll be back with that in glass. All right, guys, we're back with the 1994 uh, McKinley special selection Pinot Noir. Uh, yeah. Color looks awesome. Yeah, wow, sure does. I don't know much about 94s. I uh, haven't had a lot of memorable experiences with them. Um, should know more, but, uh, but we're working on it right now. I had a 94 not too long ago from the Lamb Valley, too. Epsom Wood. Oh, yeah. It was Chardonnay, Chardonnay right? It was Chardonnay, but it wasn't Pinot Noir, but still 94 Oregon. It's pretty yeah, pretty solid. Yeah, their estate Chardonnay was really delicious. Real good. So. Definitely a little funky going on here. It smells good to me. <laughs> yeah, like the <kinda laughs> aged, aged Pinot Noir thing going on, right? Like, yeah. It's so funny because we had actually like the 2009 Le Puit Sec right before this, and mm -hmm. smelling this, it smells. It smells older, but it's like it didn't have that like weird quality. I mean, that had been open for a day, obviously, sure. so. But it's interesting. It's like it still smells pretty fresh. Still at the same time, a little herbal, like little freshness, a little bit of stinky feet. Yeah, a little, a little bit of the, like the that sort of aged characteristic is coming out of it. Like you can, I it definitely get some of the age on it. Like there is some nice fruits still in the nose, but uh, it's like really, I don't know. It's kind of funky, very yeah, funky. A little chocolate too, almost. Yeah, yeah a very chocolate. hint. Yeah. Like slight hint of chocolate. Yeah, like cranberry or something. Yeah. Yep. Man, it's like funky old cherries. Mm -hmm. Funky old cherries. Whoa, that James acid. Brown bringing the crazy. <laughs> this is nice. Out of nowhere. This is nice, man. The, the age on the fruit, I think, oh. is in a great spot. You've got yeah. these really bright, crisp, tart cherries. Yeah. This must have been a monster on release. It's like mm -hmm. super acidic, but these nice, crisp, tart cherries and that aged fruit really providing some nice roundness and complexity. What is it? High 13? Uh, thirteen percent is what it says. Uh, yeah. I think all of these just say thirteen okay. percent. So it's worth the range. Yeah. Mm. This is really good. Like it's so fresh. The raspberries mm. on it, just like awesome. The palate's like wow. so different than what it smells like too. Totally. You'd expect it to be so much richer, but it's not. It's yeah. like bright and fruity and just like And that weird funkiness made me a little nervous about what was yeah. gonna show up on the palate. It doesn't show hardly at all mm. on the palate. I mean, this is fresh. You can tell there's some age there, like just the way that the uh, the flavors the flavors are, right? Yeah. But as far as like structural elements and like integration and acidity, like it's all there and together really nicely. Like this is drinking wonderfully right now. I bet it's going to open up quite textual a bit open, uh, The textural quality is fantastic. Um, it's already opening. Just mm -hmm. it's already changed. Like it, the first taste, I was kind of worried because yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm still getting some of that funky, musty, like funky berries on the, on the nose, um, on the palate. But now it's just all bright fruity. So. Mm -hmm. If the rest of the three are garbage, I'm still going to be really happy with Pop bringing this lineup tonight. This is yeah. this is really solid, um, showing great qualities of aged Oregon Pinot Noir. You get this totally great evolution great. of like tart, bright, crisp fruit, and then on the back end, you get kind of these darker, earthy, leathery yeah. flavors rolling around, and they're all super delicate, right? Like yeah. it's really engaging. Um, man, this, this is super good. It still even has a little bit though. Go ahead. It's got. It's almost got like you know how like you get that linger a little bit when you drink like a whiskey. Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes like that a little bit to me. Like after you swallow, you get like this weird whiskey. like whiskey linger without the heat that comes through. It must be the oak, I'm guessing. It's like it's gotta a, be part of it. Sure, it's part of the oak. It's a really interesting flavor. It's yeah, Jeez. but still so fresh at the same time. Yeah, like th this could lead to easily another five years, probably ten with or more. Like th this is still healthy. Um, it's still got even like a little bit of structure left. Like yeah. there's still some tannin, like uh, like a frame. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still there. Like it's got a little tiny bit of grip in the gums. Um, 
and it's really kind of neat because they're dusty. Like they are super relaxed, but you can tell they're still present. Uh, that's I, awesome. I wish I had more. It'd be a blast to blind people all day long. And this is 20-year-old oh, yeah. 20, 20 Oregon Pinot Noir. That. Yeah. Yeah, now it's all just like really bright. It's almost like the uh, like cherry uh, lozenges, like the cough syrup yeah. cherry lozenges. Yeah. Like that sort of like really bright cherry fruit. Still, yeah. still a strong herbal quality. Still some of the age characteristic, like the leathery things you were talking about earlier. Um Wow. The nose is just so good. What can you say? I mean, and the, the it, it drags on a long time mm -hmm. to finish. The acid is just in a perfect place. Jeez. Fantastic. Struggling to score here. Um, but why not? We'll be generous. We, it's hard to find these wines. 94 points. Um, great complexity. A lot of things to love. 20-year-old Oregon Pinot Noir showing that it's got the stuff to age and, and still be amazing. Right. Um, it was to say 93 points, 92 plus, 93 yeah. points. Like, it's it's really special. Um, what, could, what could drag it up a little further? Uh, maybe a little more complexity, right? It's about probably the little things lacking to me, but, like, everything else about it is just fantastic. I mean, just awesome. So. Yeah. You know, same for me. Like, I, I think a little bit more complexity, a little more of the funkiness that comes around the nose on the palate would push it a little bit yeah. higher. Like, it's that's a little, little bit of it there, but not, yeah. yeah. It's not as prominent as it is on the nose. Right and like I don't get me wrong I love the palate but the the nose to me is just like just perfect right um, probably like ninety plus I'm guessing really solid mm -hmm. all right well we're gonna pop pop the next cork we'll be right back all right, all right. So, so we're back this time with the nineteen ninety five special selection this is a vintage that we have had great experiences with let's uh, go for it right? yeah go for it yeah, colors yeah. way different I think uh, one of my favorite. Yeah, one of my favorite Oregon Pinot Noirs I've ever had was a 1995, and I've had other good ones. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. The downside is I will probably probably share the picture of this cork leaked a little bit at some point in its 20 year history. We'll find out uh, find out if that did anything to it. It's, it's uh, you know there it's always hit or miss with Pinot Noir too. Like does it survive? Does it not? No. <laughs> that face is like I don't know. Yeah, it's a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's. It might open up. Yeah, it's, it's a little. It's a little more funky than the, than yeah. the four, but not a lot. I don't think. Right. It's not bad. This, the feet on this one just like is prominent. Like, really? Yeah. It's blowing up on the feet. Nose right is too much. Like, like, yeah, it's. There was like a little bit on the first one, but a this one is dried roses. There's a lot, a lot more feet going on here. Sure, but I mean, I don't know. It doesn't bother me so much. Yeah. Like it, it sort of, sort of uh, reminds me of sort of like. Uh, Wet earth mm -hmm. and uh, campfire. Like it's got sort of an ashy quality to the nose. I think it still tastes all right. Um, it, it certainly doesn't have any of the fruit that the ninety four had in the nose. There's not this, much fruit on the nose at all. Yeah. Yeah. This this is uh, very very different in that regard. And I this is totally, just pop and pour, but yeah. Yeah, I'll totally agree with Matt on the color. Like this is fully brick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whereas the other one still had a, a good amount of like dark red to it. So. Yeah, the nose on this one doesn't have that. I mean, it's a different type of funk. Like, the other yeah. one was like a dirty funk. This one's like the foot. The foot mm -hmm. comes out a lot more on the nose. Um, and less it's of that dirty chocolate. Foot, yeah. yeah, it's like the dirty feet. Yeah. Still nice, bright acidity yeah. on the palate. Um, kind of some, some riper, brighter cherries. You're not feeling it at no, all, huh? No. Wow. I don't know what it is. Yeah. All right. No, I don't know. No, don't pick it up bad. It's fine. No. I mean, this is old wine. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's it's definitely not... As well put together as the ninety four. Nope. At and least at this leak, point in the game, the leaking could play a role in that. Could be. Yeah. Totally. Like, the the, pro the provenance on like wines like this, it, it matters. Yeah. Right. <laughs> when you're talking about a wine that's twenty years old, if it sat in some dude's car for a month, that destroyed it, and then twenty years down the road it doesn't matter. Right. And that's that's. Yeah. And I and I think, I think actually the complexity of the fruit here, is better than the ninety four. The structural elements and everything aren't. As well put together, right. it, it hasn't aged quite as gracefully. It's uh, a little, little sharp on the finish. Like there's, ed, it's a little edginess. The the acid kind of closes the finish up a little bit. And it's a little tart. Yeah. I don't know. It just kind of hits you in the back of the throat a little bit. That's the thing. Yeah. Kind of, and it lingers there, right? I don't know. I can't. It's not my thing. It's but I think the it. fruit's really engaging, man. I'm getting. It's just this really elegant cherries and roses and stuff on the mid palate. I would that, agree with that. Yeah. Um, that I that I really enjoy. Um, ling lingers pretty well, and I. I wonder too if, if we had one with a perfect cork, like what the difference would be. Yeah. Maybe I'll find maybe I'll find one at some point. But yeah. the fruit makes me continue continue my love for 05s. 
Well, yeah. fives. 95s. Or 95. 95s. Yeah. 95s. Well, so it, I, I wonder how we would feel about this if this was the first old wine mm -hmm. we tried. Yeah. Because one of the things that's jumping out to me is that I don't taste the age characteristics of this wine as much as I did in the 94. But the 94 was the first old wine we tried, right? right. So, of course, I'm getting my palate calibrated and whatever. Um, this definitely, my guess is that it would taste more aged than the 94. I think it does, Cause, yeah. Because the funkiness in the nose definitely extends through on the palate a little bit, especially in the finish, the leathery notes you had talked about. Now that's just sticking in my mind. And there's that little bit of bitterness in the back end. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. Just... And, that, and that's just a, a, a thing of like, not the balance is not there, right? The acid is, I think, a couple notches and more intense than the rest of the fruit flavors and the, the other flavors going on in the wine. Uh, it ends a lot shorter. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't have that same freshness the other one. Did. Agreed. Yeah, that was a totally thing. agree. Yeah, this... This would come off like if you open it and pour it right away for people, it'd be like, yeah, this is definitely all the shit, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah. And interesting in drug in that context, yeah. but, but tough to score. I, I think just kind of in the general context, I'm going to give it an 87 um, in that it's, you know, it's an enjoyable drink, still, but nothing too exciting. Drink. Yeah. But, uh, but I mean, it, it, it's, it's cool factors way higher than that, that and I'd still, I'd, I'd still enjoy drinking. Yeah, totally agree. If I if we had got this, like this was the only bottle we we're gonna drink for the night, it would get yeah. consumed, right? But this is, I think, funner on an educational standpoint than the last wine, the ninety four, which was just freaking delicious. Poppin'. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, that's that's my agreement. Or eighty eighty six points, eighty seven points. I agree right with Dan. So cool. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm gonna score it. I, Fair enough. There's something yeah. in it. A little bit, a little bit. You're not gonna yeah. drink that, are you? Yeah. Gonna no, I'm not gonna drink it. And I don't. Right, it's yeah. not that there's anything wrong with like the wine. It's just. I yeah. think there's something coming through in the pork that's just not agreeing with me at all, and so it's there's something there. Right. I agree with the acid yeah. being scratchy in the throat. It's yeah. it's kind of rough. So anyway, we'll move on to the next cool. one. Why See not the six. <laughs> all right, guys, we're back this time with the 1996 special selection Pinot Noir. So it's great to drink a break here. Where you oh, this wine. color on this, beautiful. No. <laughs> <laughs> Big breath, your wine right here. Yeah, for somebody. Uh, maybe your cat. Save it. Nice to die. He's he's 2015. Oh wait, no, Oscar's 2014. Fresh. Okay, good good pair of vintages with mm -hmm. your cats there. Any 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 thoughts about the '96 vintage? Any experiences? I don't really I have any memories around it. With no, it. Um, I th I think s doing a fair bit of reading in the past, I think '96 was considered a good vintage, right? Okay. I, I, do you, do you not well, know why at all? We'll, we'll run with that. Why Only not? because when we went to that that uh, at Tom's, we went to that yeah, Elko yeah. Vertical. Yeah. Right, I remember looking at the vertical going, okay, 96 was supposed to be a good one, and I wasn't a huge fan of the 96, sure. and then the 97 just blew my mind. And 97 was like supposed to be kind of a cold, rainy year. I feel like I've heard people talk down on 97. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I think I think 96 is supposed to be pretty highly regarded. If you know, and you see this, please post. It smells great. It does smell, smell really good. All right. No feet. Like no. black earth. Oh, wow. Dark yeah. grapefruit. Cherries. Black cherries. Oh, man. Yeah, this smells really bad. Dan's crushing the tasting of those today. Cinnamon. Yeah, this nose is fantastic. Yeah. Herbal, cherries, dark strawberries. Mm-hmm. A little bit of roses. A lot of herbs. Yeah. Yeah, this is... This smells wonderful. This is Pinot Noir. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This, this, and it doesn't even, this doesn't smell old. Nope. No. Not at all. No. This doesn't smell like an old wine. It's... It, doesn't smell young. It smells like, sure. but uh, yeah. But I, I would guess like I would never guess it was twenty years old. Right, yeah. like ten years less. Where did we grow this at? Uh, Chehalem Mountains. Okay. Is, it, is it colder than the rest or no? It is definitely colder. Okay. All right. But it still smells good. A swish. I'm pretty sure it's Chehalem Mountains. Swish. <laughs> swish. I'm drinking. Like I'm pleased. Stuff. I, I don't I don't even know what that's from and I feel good about it. <laughs> I uh, do. We're gonna listen to it. Right? Everybody listen to Soldier Boy, Steph Curry, his new hot hit. Oh, was that the thing? Be... Yeah. No, it's so bad. Yeah. It's like it's probably the worst song to come out in the past ten years. For the whole song, maybe a hundred and seventy words, hundred eighty yeah. words. Okay. So we got a lot of hating going on yeah. now. The exactly. question I've got to you guys: How many times do you think you've listened to that song? Clearly, you hate it that much once, maybe twice. That's probably it. Right? I probably listened to it like twenty times because yeah. I did. I did, a, I, did a, I did a remix of it. So see, yeah. so you even used it in your own creative endeavor. Mm. So you can, you can really only say so many negative things about it. Yeah, because uh, Chris, coming through the nose. Chris and I wanted to see if we could make it into a good yeah. song. You shake this up, and there's a little bit more age coming through on the nose. Another one where I think that if we, this is the first wine we tasted or smelled today, we would yeah. see a little more of it. A little dusty. 
But this is way more fruit, wow, this is fruit good. than uh, last Yeah. Time. Yeah. Hmm? All that stuff from the nose, man. Just that, yeah. that, that black earth grapefruit. The palate, the palate on this is crazy. You get that like grapefruit rind too coming. Kind of yeah, it's you interesting. Kind of like spicy, zesty lingers into the finish. That's, doesn't it taste like grapefruit rind. Oh, I mean, are you not feeling like is that? No, a, it's, I mean, it's I mean, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I love it. This is delicious. This is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is basically like the the sort of seamlessness and integration and like no edges that the ninety four had. But with more intensity yep. complexity. all around. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, a little more complexity as well. Man, it's going to be hard to score this wine after after the 94. 94 was just like juicy and easy to drink. This is like more uh, complex, in, in, intense, sophisticated. Like uh, it, It's just got more of everything. It's kind of like watching a documentary versus watching Friends. Both feel good. One leaves you a little smarter. And, I, you know, Man, Joey is sure. just such a smart guy. So. <laughs> you're, 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 he's been an inspiration to you in your yeah, life. Too. Like, to how it. old were you when Friends came out? You were probably in diapers. Like, probably like seven. Oh, just Six. out. All right. Six. All right. A little bit. So what, yeah. Did that come out in 94? Yeah, that could be. It's in that. Man. Yeah, and so it's good. got, so it's got the, that those structural elements are on the outside, but it's got this pure core of just delicious cherry and strawberry fruit yeah. that that Pinot Noir can bring, and I think that even kind of leans into kind of Oregon strengths. Mm -hmm. It's still got a bit of the tannins too. The tannins yeah. are really interesting on it, yeah. like round everything out too, and like. But there's still a lot of tannin. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of it. You take multiple sips, one after another, and like my cheeks are got that drying effect and grip to, in the cheeks. To be right? fair, everything tastes like tannin to me after a hot pot last night. So it's like it's just <laughs> seriously. Yeah, my mouth is still burning. Who's oh, got the best hot pot in Portland? Uh, it's called Chongqing Hogo. The place is legit. 82nd and Maine. There you go. Worth the drive. Drives that drive drive. Drive. Fought, fought traffic, rain, rain traffic from Beaverton to make although, it there. Although some of y'all might live out there already, so. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, this, this is amazing. So, so bright cherry, bright strawberry fruit, like very typical Oregon flavors. There's a, like the, the age characteristic on the palate, or that was you can see on the nose a little bit is almost non-existent on the palate, right? There's a mm -hmm. little bit of it in the nose, or a little bit in the in the finish, excuse me. Um, but the mid palate length here and the finish are tremendously long. Yeah. Uh, drug on by a large amount of acid. Uh, Plenty of age, yeah. aging yeah. left in front of it. Correct. Yeah, I would not. I would not hesitate. Like if you have ninety six is sitting in the cellar, you know the provenance is good. Like let them give them some time. Man. Yeah. Let Drink them. one now. Totally. And, and, yeah, and, 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 yeah. You're not going to be upset. Right. Um, but I, I would have a hard time not guessing this was in the 2000s based on I yeah I that would be my I would guess 2000 2001 if you poured it blind for me yeah it's yes yeah. it's, it's really impressive how well this is holding up um can we Amazon Prime now duck confit oh that'd be so good duck I, have, I do have Paul Willenberg I know you're gonna watch this can you do it yeah I bet he's done it if you can I do have some duck fat in the fridge oh nice we can just eat that with, with some eggs or with those olives with those olives we can just I got olives. Duck I got a bunch of cheese downstairs. Yeah, we're back. Fat. We can't walk away from these, right? No. Yeah. We, we were talking about this off camera, but like, huh. these aren't going to be any good tomorrow, probably. So we got to we got to drink them up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wake up the ladies. I know ninety like a ninety three to ninety four point experience for me. Like this is yeah really a good bottle of wine. And in this context, right, you have to regard. I mean, like we're we're judging these wines against themselves, and this is a truly special bottle of wine. Yeah. It's it's wonderful. It's very good to drink. Ninety five points, boom. It's got upside. I'm loving it right now. I could I could drink one of these almost every time I'm down for Pinot Noir. This is in that, this is in that wheelhouse. Um, man, there's a lot of great stuff going on. The aged characters adding complexity that you can't get any other yeah. way. This is properly aged Oregon Pinot Noir. Yes, this and, is and, wonderful. And this I got a feel. When aged wine is good. And I'm trying to hold back, like, it's easy to shortchange it, because this isn't one of the names that's got a big marketing hype behind it that people no. are talking about, no. you know, the, like, the, the ageability and the, and the history behind it, or, it's like, the you Thomas. know, yeah. you, could, you could blind this and tell me it was $100 Burgundy, and, and I'd be like, that's a really nice bottle of wine. Um, right. Yeah. I'd, I'd still feel Gonna have to challenge it. DBP with this. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you'd yeah. fool anybody. Um, yeah, I don't know if you'd but fool. I feel, but I feel like this, yeah. is, this is fantastic. No, it's really, really well. Um, Maybe this one, not the yeah. 94. 94, 94 definitely away. reminds me of Oregon, but this is this is this could be just the way the acid and the tan, the tan like the structure is all still there. Yeah, you know what I mean that's yeah. the crazy thing about it. So, but we're not going to spend any more time making Burgundian comparisons. We're going to move on to wine number four. Yeah. 
All right, we're back with the 1996, right? Seven. Seven. 1997. Chaz has had a little bit to drink. This is the, the middle of the cork. Yeah. This cork was soaked all the way to the top, but not through the top. So uh, I think we're still all right. Oh, lightest color of the four right there, right? Yeah. Well, I think that's right. somewhat typical of the vintage, right? Like it was kind of a colder year. Yeah, yeah. and if everybody okay. wants to talk down on it, it's because it wasn't, it wasn't, especially at that era, because it wasn't a hot year. Right. Yeah, oh. baby. Color looks good to me. Like Color definitely, water. definitely a little brick, a little, little brick, but not much. Not much. And just lighter, lighter color. Still had a good amount of red. Yeah. Perfumey, rosy. Yeah. Oh. There's something going on. A little there. bit of feet. Yeah. A little. little like a chlorine menthol thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll agree with that. There's like yeah. some sort of chemically chlorine thing going yeah. on. Yeah. Which kind of really sulfur? Do you think the sulfur blown off from fresh poppin' pour or no? Oh, that's weird. That's really weird smelling. What does it smell like? Balls. It's definitely like a mentholy, almost like a menthol cigarette. But then it's kind of like if you have chalky of... minerally at the same time. Do you ever time. smoke menthol cigarettes? Oh yeah. Yeah. Preferred menthol cigarettes oh, when I'm like smoking. Okay, yeah. It's kind of like if you have like a bunch of old men wearing brute naked in a pool. So like a I brute, don't know what kind of parties you like go to. Like a brute to. pool lemon party. <laughs> yeah, brute pool lemon party. So you got the balls, you got the brute, and you got the chlorine. Wine is serious business. You don't get reviews like that anywhere else in the world. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Matt. Yeah. Aren't you glad you invited him all? <laughs> <laughs> he invited me because I would be more tame uh, on camera than Rand off camera. <laughs> yeah, Rand Randall Graham gave a quote once that, that when, when you write about wine... In many ways, you're really writing about yourself, and I think I think we're seeing evidence of that. <laughs> oh right, yeah, right now. Okay. Man, the menthol thing is coming out it's, even more. It's, it's, turning, it's growing. It's yeah. turning like almost herbal now. Like it reminds me of sort of rosemary, um, but like definitely yeah. sage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, some sort of like strong herbal thing where like literally you you know sometimes you'll grab an herb just for fun as you're like hiking or somewhere in the neighborhood here. This rub, it, rub, it, rub it in your hands just to kind of get that smell. It's fun. Some smashed raspberries underneath it's, it all. It's like a cherry halls, man. That's like really? cherry halls. I yeah, wouldn't that, go all It's not like halls. full menthol. Like it's definitely got like an herbal quality to it. It had a full menthol thing to me for a little while. Maybe it's because I've had my, had my nose jammed in it for so long. Maybe it's the whole, whole Foods organic brand of halls. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's the uh, fully <laughs> organic uh, free trade. It's, it's Ricola. It's fruity and delicious on the palate. Like your mom. God, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Sorry. Four wine shows, Dan. This is what you yeah, get. This is what I get. Yeah. Sorry, McKinley. Yeah, the palate's actually really good. I really don't like how it smells, but the palate is popping. It's like fresh, mm -hmm. acidic. Tans are crazy. Wow. Like, it's got a good like linger that kind of hits you in the back of the throat, but it's like very fresh still. You blind me on this, and I say super youthful. Oh five or seven. Oh Great. yeah. Super youthful on the palate. Yeah. So it tastes 20 years younger than it is. Um, I know this is based solely on the on the, uh, on the palate, not the nose. Because the nose totally. is, The nose does not smell young. Absolutely not. So. But, jeez, and the tannins on the on the palate yeah. even really dry things up late. It's still ripping. Yeah. I can't believe... I'm, I'm going to blame the little funkiness on the nose on this wet cork here. And I'm going to imagine that if you had a perfect providence, perfect enclosure, I... Because the, the palate is still so fresh on it. Yeah, the, cor the cork came out of this one probably the worst of the bunch, honestly. Like, even the leaker, uh, while it leaked, yeah, um, was fully intact the rest of the way around. I will this show guy, pictures to you guys. Yeah, yeah, this guy soaked all the way through. So Yeah, it's about, it smells like a... Damn. <laughs> that got cut. Wow. That got cut. <laughs> Jeez, Matt, you're on a tear. You're looking for trouble tonight. <laughs> we need blooper roll material for our episode. Yeah, we do. Okay, we're a little short. Yeah, we, we, it's good that we're it's good that we're adding to that. But boy, Dan, Dan is so PC. distraught with the current situation. I can see it in his. I'm not distraught. It's all right. It's it's it's, 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 not, it's not. You know, the, you, you go watch wine interviews on the wine wine reviews on the internet. Nobody's talking about stuff like this. No. You gotta set yourself apart one way or the other, Balls in the and if party. it's because it's lowball humor of thirteen-year-old boys, I guess that's the niche we cover. That's what happens um, when you're drinking birth year wine from nineteen ninety-seven. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what's with that? You're you're used to just hanging out with older people in every corner of your life now, right? It's true. 
Like, do you, is there anything you do where you're hanging out with people five years younger than yourself? Uh, not really, based on the hobbies that I have. Right. Most people five years younger than myself are kind of, I don't know, I don't know what they do really. What did I do when I was five years younger? Doing a lot of drugs, eating bread. <laughs> the, yes. Very, great a few. It's basically it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As this wine is warming up, so this is another one where I think we got into it a little too cold. Mm. Um, maybe helped the nose a little bit. Uh, on the palate, I agree with like there. There is like really nice fruit flavors here. There's good intensity. There's actually a lot of good structural elements. The acid is all there. The tannins are still super lively and Boy, pretty grippy. Yeah. Um, not giving a whole lot off except for young cherry fruit, and that's really about it. Um, last couple of sips I've taken those, I've like been trying to swirl it, warm it up. A um, little bit of the age is coming through on the finish, mm -hmm. uh, but but who knows how this will be? I mean, this is, I think I think of, well, all these wines are going to be roller coaster wines in the sense that they're going to change dramatically in the time they are exposed to air. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's it's good now. I, it, it's it's sad coming after after the wines that it's come after because I'm more impressed with the '96. That's okay. It's, no, it's, a tough, yeah, it's a tough thing to follow, and, that, and that's the thing. Too, we couldn't right? predict that, right? Like, yeah, you couldn't predict that one, but two, it's it's just a different vintage, right? Yeah, it's just, it's the same wine from a, from a different vintage. The palette on this one though is really is still really interesting. I think it's like it's got it's fresh. It's got like a tiny like a little bit of complexity there. It's not like. It's not like the last one by any means, but it's still like there. There's good structure to it. The tans are good. This city is freaking really good. It's really hard to not be negative in this no. in this sort of thing because this is a good wine. Mm -hmm. Yep. We just you know you came after. It came after this, a better one. Came wine, after right? a better one. Yeah. yeah. So um, another another time where if this was the first wine we were drinking of the night, we would probably love it. You know, or if you brought this out to the dinner and this is the one old wine you pop for the night. Totally be happy with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's going to enjoy drinking this. Quite a, quite a big bottle difference here. Yeah, the color. You got the deep punt. Oh, you got yeah. the, like... Time's changing, I guess. Yeah, yeah time's changing. McKinley had to move up in his uh, special selection. You know, and, and I think there are some people that are going to hate us doing this show because I feel like they're, like, one of the, the big QPR holdouts in the Valley. Agreed. Where, like, th these things go for, I think, mid-30s now, the special selections. And they're awesome. And, and yeah. you can tell, like... I wasn't sure. I'm not that familiar with them. I've enjoyed their wines, but this is clear that he's had a line on quality for, for decades now. And uh, I've, I've had special selections a few times, but none, none as old as these. Yeah. Right? It's always like an 07 or, an 0, or a 10 or something that someone just happens to have. And they're always really nice to drink. And this is the sort of thing where you just like, you know they can age now. Right? And like these 14s, those, those 14 yeah. Willamette Valleys that are great wines. Right. I'm, I'm going to age at least yeah. one of them. Maybe, maybe I'm probably going to get some more. I'm going to be worried. I saw the, a few of them on sale for like 16 bucks somewhere. Like, yeah. Stack them up. Throw them in the cellar. Stack them papes. Agreed. So, so to score this wine, probably like an 89 point wine for me. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, I think it's, yeah, it's just a very good wine. Um, mm -hmm. Structure elements are like even more intense than the 96, but, but it lacks the balance. It lacks the, uh, the complexity. It lacks the mouth feel. It lacks, it lacks literally everything. That the wine the ninety six had, uh, it's, it's so it's a tough show to follow afterwards, but still a very nice wine. Um, yeah, the palate's a little over ninety for me, but the nose knocks it back a bit. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eighty nine two. Now I'm still I, I'm still gonna go ninety points. I'm not a big fan of the nose, um, but the palate's got a lot of exciting things going on. The nose is weird, and and for a wine of this age, uh, I, I still think it's a it's a lot of fun to drink. Um, and it's a lot of fun to drink. Especially if you are ready to enjoy more of the structural elements, if you're eating it with something that, that uh, goes well with a more tannic wine, or if you're mm -hmm. looking for a more tannic wine with some age on it, this would be this is a great example of that. Uh, and I'm still I'm still pretty excited about it. And this one has a chance of being good tomorrow if we don't finish it tonight too. Agreed. Yeah. A lot of the other ones don't. I'll probably, I mean, I'm probably gonna put it at 87. I was a little more off put by the nose than mm -hmm. anybody else. Oh, yeah. sure. The palate is definitely. I agree. Like it's popping. Like. I would drink, I'm still going to drink the hell out of this, it's just the nose, it's just like, there's something about it again. I get really sensitive to smells anyways, Yeah. and you know, as much as you say it only smells, it only smells. Right. <laughs> Hold a straight face, Matt. Come yeah, on. I know. Yeah, you almost did it. Damn it. Good, good work. Tried. So we're definitely feeling that the 96 is the, uh, is the favorite of the, the night, star. right? Like, that's, yeah. Def yeah. that's definitely in a great definitely. spot. Um, 
I'm definitely super excited to try more McKinley wines of the age too. This, this, I think over delivered. I really expect. I think we all expect at least one of these to be DOA, right? Yeah, and I, I would say honestly, out of these, the '95 was sort 95 of DOA. Was definitely, it's DOA. sort of there, right. but not as bad. We've had worse. We've had worse aged wines on over. Well, I think we right? even said like, yeah, we would we would finish it. Yeah, we would. But it, on a, it's it's more of an educational wine than yeah. an actual wine that I'm like getting a lot of pleasure out of. Yeah, yeah. So cool. So we su- we really enjoyed this. This is again, I, I I can I can bet you good money. There's not one wine blog, one one wine write up anywhere in the world that's got this vertical. Yeah. As a part of it, so I hope you enjoy. I hope special we, I hope we do some more of this. Like I got another yeah. one in the cellar. That's, oh, that's, dude, that's, I can't that's, wait. You like Kristen? That's what's next. Oh, not four years, but uh, well, I'm but, glad not four years yeah. because obviously we some people can't handle handle four wines. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Especially right. when they smell like this. <laughs> yeah, so so we look forward to doing more stuff like this. Uh, and and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. We'll see you. Well, we got a question of the day. Oh, we you forgot to ask, and, and it's an easy one. Yeah. What's the last vertical you did? Nice. There we go. That you really enjoyed, or just one that stuck out to you, like your most your your most favorite vertical. Um, got right off the top of my head, that Roosevelt vertical that Tom had us over to was a lot of fun. Um, this one is really good. This is also fantastic. This is what we're yeah. talking. About. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with. Oh no, the ver- no vertical. No, it wasn't a vertical. Anyway, we're lucky enough we could do more. Yeah, yeah. Like we haven't done. I haven't done a lot of verticals recently. Yeah, yeah. You? I can tell you the last words I wanted. It. Your mom. <laughs> That's a sick That's burn. That's the end of wine of serious business. Yeah, I'm yeah. Go get some ice, and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>